Hello guys, I am Zap. This is a uh, replay for fleet operations, the Star Trek Armada 2 mod. This is a tournament match between Sig in green and Star Master Prodigy in teal. Star is going for Murtok Klingons and Sig is going for Borg. Let's see what Avatar is soon. Uh, they've picked both their races at the start, so they know what they're up against. Hmm, what could they possibly be doing? Well, the Borg isn't, doesn't do anything fancy yet. But Mighty is starting with Field Research and Tritanium. Which to me suggests that he is going to s go straight into uh, Cavords. Um, maybe he won't even be going into Susas. That would be viable against Borg. Oh, he'll build a big castle just for me. Doesn't sound like a very Klingon thing to do, though. Ah, he'll probably just load textures. And what, is, uh, what avatar is he? Optimize, which is a standard for the Borg. Has he queued up any probes or such yet? No, he has not. We'll do that later. Uh, is he sec sending a second miner to the Tritanium as well? Because this one is still going to be a while until it gets full. Maybe he just uh, put the output node of the assimilation magic of the starbase right here. No. No, that is that's definitely orbiting the Trimoon. Uh, well, you could call that a minor Miss Micro. Conduction matrix is pretty much done. Ah, uh, yeah, there he goes with the field, re uh, field yard at his Trimoon. I've often seen people do this now, instead of putting this on a die, which is usually considered more important since it's uh, important for ship production, they put their yard on the tri, because the die moon is closer to the expansion, which is likely also going to have a yard. Did you research anything yet? No, that would be weird. Special forces! HA! I called it! Susa! Oh boy. You really should crank out the probes now. The probes are actually the only small sized... Oh boy, a recycling center? He wants to go into a sphere or something, but he's not going to be able to put up any pressure against the, uh, the Klingons in the early game, which loves, leaves them the ability to expand, maybe double expand if he so desires. And that is moving up. And that constructor is moving up as well. He probably tends to take full advantage of this. No probes. I assume he has uh, nodes 1 researched. Yeah, what I was saying earlier, the probe is actually the only uh, small Borg combat ship and therefore does the best against tanking those scissors. Aside from that, I would go with either uh, scube, scubes and mass or dodes and mass. Dodes would probably do fine. But those scissors, man, they are nasty. If you get enough of these up. You're gonna have a bad time, especially as a Borg, because this practically denies you... Ah, there goes a probe up. This practically denies you building any uh, sort of loud ship, because <laughs> it just dies so quickly. And even if you put something like torpedo modules on them, the damage reduction isn't that big. So, somebody here is expanding. I think you need to secure up a few more miners. His first probe is out, but he's probably not going to be able to do much of anything with that first probe. Except maybe defend against the first Susa that comes to try and kill a miner because he doesn't have any ships. Something like that. Hmm, I just heard a ship cloak. Ah, yeah, there it is. So, for anyone who hasn't seen the Susa before, 2119. I don't think Quebecs will tank for them because they also have only 19 defensive value. It's short. Also can only fire forwards. It has two nasty, nasty torpedo on a short delay, and it does extra damage against stations for a Malus against shield regeneration. But who cares about shield regeneration? And uh, it has a special that increases its fire rate uh, by a strong amount for 35 seconds, and then reduces it by 20. And you can't cloak while it's active. That special is usually very important for Susa play. Well. Ah, yeah, scoops and a dote. 
maybe he just wants to build this to a tank. So, something to note, those Susas actually do count... Oh, he's trying to hunt down the corn, nice. The Susas do actually count as small ships, so they will take extra damage from interception modules and uh, the Dota adapted torpedoes. The Borg micro micro torpedoes are a little bit special in that they do like 70% extra damage against small ships and 70% reduced against large, I believe. Like 90% are reduced against stations. Have you ever seen a Dota shoot a station before? Does nothing. He's seriously trying to put his damage against stations to use <laughs> this conduction matrix. As this dote comes out or this probe comes back, and the scoop is not gonna be. Uh, <laughs> he's gonna have to go. Ah, just heard the second Susa cloak. Trying to beam on it? No, Mighty is trying to beam on the scout just because I guess he can get the crew a bit down before he dies. Ah, he's using a special. He probably didn't see that when he was microing his uh, con earlier. But he's gonna get away slow because one door does not. It's not defeat you made. Ah, oh, but he got his disabled up on the weapon system. No matter, those scissors are actually really, really fast. I think they're 130 or 140 speed. Oh, his right con is up on the right too. <laughs> I think you really need to get a second yard up soon. I don't know if he has a special yet, we can check. No, he doesn't have it yet. Yeah, it's probably because he has focused so hard on the die. There's one on try and three on die here. Is he deconning this? He's deconning this. Oh, it's fine. He has enough expansions. How did this run out? No. I thought it ran out of crew or something. No, oh, it's just sitting there. <laughs> and he popped it. <laughs> why is it in, why is it in yellow crew though? He beam he probably beamed on the scout with it before or something. There's the third scissor. Mm, is this the second dot? Yeah, this is the second dot. No probes at the moment, no cubes. No, he's actually quite rich because of this uh, recycling center, but his supply is going down. He needs to be careful with that. No, his conduction maybe doesn't have any lasting damage. He needs to be really careful with his supply. He needs to stop building tons of collectors uplinks and start building those uh, recycling, uh, not recycling centers, those supply stations. Which sucks because uh, if you are busy building supply stations with the con, you can't build any more ships. You really need to be building these uplinks all the time if you're building lots of box small ships. Now this is actually a decent uh, fleet for the early game. Against three or four scissors, this is to still totally fine. Oh, he popped two containers. Might have popped the other one too. Uh, but as it stands... Mighty does look to have uh, an advantage the longer the game goes on. Looks like he's trying to snag a couple miners, put some pressure on him. Which is just the thing he needs to do as a Borg. Where's he going? Probably building a yard? Yeah, yard. Yeah, you, you probably shouldn't shoot the sh stations. Remember what I said about those stations taking less damage? And he popped the dote specials too. So now they get shot and they don't take any damage. We'll take damage with the uh, miner and the yard, or the yards, since the special extension can also repair. Which don't take any damage. You are just uh, wasting your firepower here. Uh, we get it now. He refocused his fire. Is he beaming on one of these ships? Oh no, those Katingas are going to eat it pretty damn quick against those. But I think that is what he counted on. <laughs> Having them tank for the Susas. Places since Quebec's won't tank for them. It's this transmission matrix. Wow. That is definitely a non standard Borg build. Not what you'd usually see. I wonder what he's gonna do. Transport would be interesting, but that leaves his dots behind. So I guess he's gonna go for something like a slicer? 
Ooh, shoot the slicer does actually yeah, that was uh, obviously a followed ship it was a little bit mismarked and now it's going to be assimilated. It's a nice thing to do as Borg. Unless oh it cloaked fast enough. Tup, didn't even get that one. Thing that is mighty scouting this at all? I don't think so. The scout is just sitting right here. And I don't think he's a second up. Walk Scout is sitting around here, waiting for another expansion to go up, which he can snipe. I don't think he knows about this one, though, which is also kind of bad for him. Another dot popped out. Yeah, another double intercept dot. Now he's researching devastating attack. Oh, he popped three Katingas. He's gonna pop the fourth too. Uh, yeah, one or two are probably gonna get out. Now his ships are just sitting here. Why? I guess he feels a little bit threatened by these dodes, but they're only gonna get more. Now continuing to build small ships, especially dodes, is just what uh, they're just the right thing to do for Sigma. So maybe. Mighty's uh, patented anti Borg Susa spam technology is not uh, it's not going to work out for Matho. Simulated a miner, especially full of titanium. <laughs> Simulate the station you can dogger and get those hundred try. <laughs> that would be funny. Yeah, you can see every time the beams hit, the HP on this thing goes down. Not until you guys won't do anything. Well, he just cloaked, but he's still not moving. He's a special now. He's working the heavy weapons platform. This is going to do great against all these small box ships, especially it's, it's going against Scoops. Scoops just died to these. Oh, and up here too. Well, if he turtles, he can totally just do that because he can kill anything big with those uh, scissors. Oh, yes, devastating attack. Now, devastating attack. It doesn't show up as a module or such, but every Borg ship, I'm not sure if the probes get it too, every Borg ship now can shoot this torpedo that does only shield damage, and the damage scales the bigger the ship is. I got shot from, so a cube will obviously do way more damage than like an adapter. I think it's only shield damage though, and Klingons do actually have half their HP in the hull instead of on the shield. Well, they have half shields, half hull, but not... Uh, they don't have as big an amount in the shield as the Feds would have, or any of the other races for that matter. Next is the Slicer, yes. Mm, typically I would go for either the Slicer or Devastating Attack, because both of these take special energy, which on the Dodes, for instance, will probably deny him the ability to use the special, because it uses up almost all of it. And well, yeah, you're splitting your damage, uh, you're splitting your special energy between the usage of this or that. And using the high, the uh, devastating attack and mass is just going to be overkill, especially if he fights against uh, those sources with them, because they don't have a lot of shields. Oh, snagging a kill. His second door is done too, it might well die as well, but not a bar fix to close. So even though sometimes miss those scissors, eh, you missed the kill. There you go. Got your first rank. Oh, oh wow. Katinga just barely surviving. <laughs> Two hit points might already have regenerated one. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't get any close on this. Important, this is an EM skill. That's exactly what he needs. The other one is intercept though, yeah. Another dot chest is up. Yeah, I think Mighty might be hoping for a might be hoping for a sphere chassis or something like that going up. I think he still just has nodes one, right? Doesn't look like his connections are similar as uh, a mass very fast, but he does have a lot of resources. He could totally go for nodes two and pump out ships faster. Go take an expansion if if you could. Oh uh, yeah, but there he is. Supply locked. Twelve supply remaining for the Borg. Now this fleet is not gonna grow any bigger for a while after this dodo is out. 
Ah, oh, there it is, nodes too. And supply stations. Incubation zippers, that's what they're called. Might just attach the scout to this. And there are more scissors coming. Three more on the way. After that, I think he's gonna snipe this conduction matrix and deny him to put up any more nodes for a while. Not that he's going to anyway, since he's supply locked. But at this point, with the second yard now up and running, I think Mighty is going to start outproducing and uh, squashing sick pretty soon. Hmm. Put minus back on this. I'm not actually sure if the recycling center counts as uh, enough resource income to make up for another expansion. It does produce a big amount. He's obviously stopped recycling now since he's staying at 12 supply. Gonna build another one? He really needs to. As an optimizer, you also have the advantage that you can upgrade these things for more, mu uh, for some extra production. I think, oh yeah, then I will say maximized incubation center instead of just regular incubation center. <laughs> oh, there he is. Station detail, well, one of ship is in range of the station, but whatever, this thing is gonna die pretty damn quick. Activated the special notice of a rain of torpedoes destroying the station, kicking over his castle. Borg is gonna go for a counterattack, but he's gonna find that the Klingon expansions have been turtled up with very nasty anti short range torpedoes. And all your dodes are not going to do much of all against these urban platforms. You can actually use these um, the devastating attempt to kill shields on stations pretty effectively, but you don't really have anything else that can kill stations effectively. I think you should get this minor kill and get out, attackers die or something. Meanwhile, the Klingons have destroyed both the conduction matrix and the recycling center. He wasn't reusing the recycling center now anyway. For a lack of supply to recycle. His ships are just soaking. A lot of firepower from this heavy weapons platform. I think you just use the slicer against it. Because you have this on automatic uh, specials. Was that really bad? Dude, you cannot kill this thing. Not with dodes and not with cubes. Meanwhile, more or less your miners dying. Now with prior cannonball chips, even though he still has some in the bank. You can't build any more ships, you can't build any more nodes to build ships from. And he is just shooting this heavy weapons platform which still has its shields up. Soaking more damage on his nodes. Well that one was basically dead, it's gonna eat it now the next volley. Yep, it goes. He lost what, two scubes, probe and a dode for... I think he killed a miner or a scissor or something here. Oh, free Katinga. I don't say free anymore, unfortunately. And he's going for the station after a special regenerate because why the hell not? Hmm, 380 defense I think he upgraded it off defensively. Ah, no, there's a defender here as well. No, he has the station holding the image nasty for getting a couple kills. I think you might actually want to retreat here. Come back another day. No point in losing your fleet. There's a lot of energy. Boarding. Now that is what he could have used a long time ago. Although I guess they do have 90 crew, which isn't too bad. And those small ships, I think even the small ships get boarding special, but they don't take all that much crew away. Of course, a mercy sequence does another ship here now. Mm, no, I don't think you can kill this entire fleet with just four dodes. And especially not against uh, <laughs> against an expansion that's turtled up with another heavy weapons platform. Mighty is just going to use this for free experience. But you see how bad these Suzas do against uh, miners that are small size? That's why typically when you have a decent bunch of Susas, you just attack the mining stations, which you can actually kill instead of miners with them. 
course, that only applies to non Borg miners because more non Borg, uh, but of course, Borg miner is actually medium sized. Juicy, juicy, soaky, soaky. Uh, he used a special on all of them, and half the shots are again going towards stations instead of towards miners. He really needed to wait for those D cloak and then pop the special. Maybe not, because what he needs is some focused firepower to kill these as well. Special is activated, his dose is just dying. And HP buzz the dragon pretty damn quick. There's one Susa in half shield, half armor, and uh, that's it. That is definitely it. That is the GG. Interesting strategies from both players. But the Sig was maybe a little bit too interesting, I have to say. So, there we go. One victory for Star.